Hey, welcome back to Brick Auto here. Uh, working on it's a 2001 Volvo V70 uh, Turbo. Um, it's an ETM. So I actually tried cleaning uh, with no avail. Did not help the uh, surging pulsing idle. And actually just had it towed here because it actually, uh, owner took it back after the cleaning, drove it around a little bit, said there's no guarantees of that. It's obviously, it just needs a new new ETM and it already been replaced once under the extended warranty so um, obviously needs it again um, so had it towed back now we're going to replace the ETM doesn't look all that exciting honestly of where it's at the location under the intake but uh, give it a shot the owner actually had an ETM reprogrammed to their VIN and bought that with lives way under there. clamps off these hoses duct work seven millimeter ten millimeter two bolts top of the fan some type of torques here oh I guess right T20 little bracket on here and an old quarter inch get that off Normally two T25s here and here hold this on, but they're long gone on this vehicle. But most of the time, expect to find that. So there's one more connection. Alright, so it just dropped these four bolts came out. I put them in the same order. Those dropped out. This is just the other side of the ETM. So just lifting it around while it's still connected. And connect these two little uh, attachments. Untouch the electrical. And there we go. All right, just kidding. This, these two pieces do not. These two screws do not need to come out. The electrical connection on the ETM actually comes with a new one, and it is simply just unplugs right here. So a new one will plug in the same location, so you don't actually need to disconnect that at all. Just uh, loop it around the starter here, and then the old one. Goes right out then you just put it on a hood of your lawn garden tractor rather sexy and so the yellow label means it was replaced once under the warranty but it's over the hundred thousand mark all right so just as always compare the old and the new here's the old one like i said leave this connector on there it's fine new one comes the new connector all set to go so we will plug it in and like I said the owner bought this pre-programmed to their VIN from these folks not really sure where they are it's in the box so it looks like they're from Canada but uh, X Mod X technology so I hope this works there's the old gasket. I was actually, I was actually looking for that gasket that actually fell right down. Um, I don't know what kind of shot we're going to get in there. 
Anymore. Actually, going to take some brake clean and clean out that housing a little bit more. And then new gasket. It's a Volvo part number three one four three zero four seven four. Came with the ETM from these nice folks. So I'm going to clean that out. Set this up for reassembly and hopefully get some decent shots there. Okay, so for the reinstall, I actually decided to put this main duct that connects to it on um, before putting it in the car. Without the fan, there should be plenty of room now. So it's actually on there, seated very well. It is probably 80% tight, so it can still swivel a little bit, but it is all on there as far as that goes so it just needs to be tightened up which I can should be easily be able to do with the um, screw pointed right there so I actually turned it around to make it a little easier um, just for access so I'm gonna put it on like this T20. Just keep adding these up till they're all done. All of your connections, electrical are back in order. And then they get the big one. This will work. So to sum up, the ETM replacement first, um, I'll take this over hose off, disconnect it here, disconnect this duct that goes directly to the ETM, 7mm, 7mm, remove this, remove the lower part of this this piece to the side after this is disconnected, move that up, remove the 7mm on the ETM once this is out of the way, probably wait until after get this uh, fan out of the way, two 10mm bolts here, your various uh, electrical connections here, uh, here, the sort of torques there, probably have two torques here, Torx T25, and a T25 here. They're obviously long gone in this vehicle, but those will be there. To get that out of the way. Two electrical connections here and this duct to vacuum line. And then there is your electrical connection for the ETM once you're there. So basically that's it. Remove remove the ducts, remove the fan, and then you're kind of working blind. Four 10 millimeter bolts holding the ETM, which is right there. Uh, so it is time for the ultimate test here. Let's see if it starts. I hope it starts. So 
there's the mileage, 154. So far, a little better. A little chuggy here at a thousand. Wow, I really don't like that. I don't know if this is going to actually need a reprogram or or what, or maybe it just needs to learn. It's kind of smoothing out there, which I like. All right, let's see what the old old scamma jamma says. Yes. Alright, so there's a lot of um, a couple of misfire cards, not a position code. Uh, these are all throttle position codes that were in here. Codes are back. So we just cleared the codes. Well, the deal was after I did the cleaning, I said, I don't know if the cleans will work. You can try it. The um, ETM's really expensive. Um, I said, all right, just, you know, needs to replace that. I'll, actually having trouble finding someone to do it. I said, I will do it with the understanding that it may not solve the problem and it may need a re, uh, reprogram probably from a Volvo dealer once it's done. Uh, but it actually seems to be working now, like after I did the initial start. Now it seems fine after I cleared everything. So let's Go back. No closed loop. I like that. Idling right at 760. Look at that. That's great. Let's go for a test drive. 2001 V7A 2.4 turbo. See the accelerator pedal uses uh, three wires. Digital signal, analog signal. drive here. Seems to be working. Alright, 
pop this on if anything crazy happens here. Okay, so we just got back from the test drive. We are fully up to temperature, idling beautifully on its own. Right where it should be. A little uh, emergency triangle <laughs> warning uh, is not back on, uh, nor are the check engine or any other um, lights. So I call this a pretty, pretty good deal. Pretty good fix. I'm glad it worked out. I was a little nervous because of the issues with the ETM and how sensitive they are. So I'm glad that this one that came from that place actually worked out very well. So if you are in need of one, I would probably recommend these folks. Zmodex, whatever it is. Zmodex Technology. Uh, there's their address in uh, Ontario, Canada. So I'm going to give them props. Uh, they sent it and worked beautifully. Um, I know I would recommend, you know, contacting them, giving them your VIN, having them send it to your program. There's a core charge, so we'll get this back to this vehicle owner. And then I did a pretty much a hard set, hard reset on every system that was in here. So I don't know if a regular over-the-counter kind of scanner would do the type of reset that we need. It reset every single system as you saw. Um, but as soon as I did that hard reset, started right up, worked beautifully. So, there you go. Thanks. Good luck. Have a great day.